Hi, this is Ann Shibani, and welcome to segment nine of Book Yourself Solid, the fastest, the easiest, and the most reliable system for getting more clients than you can handle, even if you hate marketing and selling, like I once did. Today, we're going to discuss the information product strategy. Here's the thing. People love to buy packaged learning experiences. They love these things because they're easy to understand and therefore easy to buy. On top of it all, products and programs designed to serve your target market's urgent needs and compelling desires are very powerful tools to build trust and credibility. That's our goal. Remember, the right products or programs can help you create a low barrier to entry offer that leverages your time and builds your brand. The products and programs can also make you money while you sleep. Imagine someone purchasing your ebook or short video course in the middle of the night. No more trading hours for dollars. And think of the instant credibility such a product would give you in your community. That's how experts are born. And think of the trust you earn by allowing potential clients to experience you without having to drop a ton of dough. This totally shortens up the sales cycle. I thought that might get your attention. So let's talk about how to create an information product. I know what you're thinking. That stuff requires way too much time, too much effort. I can't stop what I'm doing to write a book or string together a six week video course. But don't let the idea of creating products intimidate you. Tips, guides, or resource manuals are great formats to start with. They don't need to have to be all that involved. Strive to add value to your clients' lives in any way you can and keep it simple. Don't overwork it or feel that it needs to be perfect. Don't worry about being wildly original either. So keeping this in mind, you are ready to define your product or program, develop your product or program, and then launch your product or program. So let's break this down a bit. First, you want to define your product or program. Choose the one product idea that you are most passionate about, and most importantly, one that's in line with your current business needs. Not sure what I mean? Well, if you're starting out and you need to build your database, you'll need to create a lead generating product first, a product that you can give away to create connections with potential clients. This is that freebie you give away in exchange for someone's email address and name. And it's critical that your product or program meet the needs of your target market. No matter how much you might love to create something, and Lord knows I'm a creator, if your target market doesn't need it, you'll be defeating your purpose. So here are some things you need to consider when deciding on a product or program to create. What type of product will you create? A book or an ebook, an MP3 recording, a video series? Then there's your target market. Who will receive your offer? Will it be nursing mothers, people pleasers, engineers looking for a promotion? And of course, what's the red hot benefits of your product or program? What will your program specifically do for them? Then there's the look and the feel of the thing. What emotion will it convey? Hope? Relief? Finally, how will you leverage this product? What other ways can you repurpose this content? What other formats can you offer it in? Can you turn your six-week course into a book or vice versa? Here's the thing. It's all well and good to think about this stuff, but you actually need to develop your product or program. And there are five steps to developing your product or program. Step one is choose the role you're playing. Step two, choose your product framework. Step three, choose a title that sells. Four is build your table of contents. Five is create your content. And don't worry, I'll explain just what I mean. So in step one, choose the role you're playing. Let me give you some examples. Will you be the expert who explains your theories or the interviewer who introduces us to experts in a given field? For step two, where you choose your product framework, this is all about the structure of your product. How about the problem solution framework where you state a problem people face and then present the solution one problem at a time? Or the numerical structure where you create a series of key lessons. The first lesson followed by the second lesson and so on and so forth. 
As a book coach, I love discussing different frameworks or structure. This can be so much fun. In step three, choose a title that sells. You want a title to grab attention or address a fear or promise a solution to a particular problem or create suspense or inspire an emotional connection. Never underestimate the power of the right title. It's easy to miss the mark by trying to be too clever, but don't stay stuck in this step. It's a great title, it usually takes time to emerge. So pick a working title and then, you know, move on and carry on to the next step. Then there's step four, build your table of contents. The table of contents should be easy to scan and allow your reader to gain an understanding of concepts and main points. Creating a table of contents also allows you to break your content into manageable pieces. This is the stuff that's housed between your introduction and your conclusion. These are the lessons or steps your audience needs to understand and or take to get the result thereafter. Step five is create your content. A straightforward way to develop your content is to apply this three-part formula. Based on your table of contents, choose from two to five key points for each section. In part two, flesh out each of the key points per section with a supportive story, some supportive content. And in part three, repeat step two until you've created the final product. This is that lather, rinse, repeat concept. So keep it simple and focus on getting the job done so you can get down to the business of getting booked solid. When you finally realize all of this, we move to step three where we launch your product or program. You'll wanna use the simple three-step product launch. So step one, pre-launch. Step two is launch. Step three is post-launch. Keep in mind, you are how you market. Consider what you stand for and how you want to be known. And of course, how the people you serve want to be treated because we've all seen examples of obnoxious market launches. Don't worry, you know I'm going to break this stuff down further. So in step one is your pre-launch. This is where you warm up your audience with little tidbits of content that are easy for them to consume. This teaser content should be designed to get your audience thinking about the specific problems that your upcoming product offer addresses, as well as the results the product promises. So in step two, we're launching the product. Now is the time to press send on your We're Live email, as well as announce the product launch on social networking sites, your blog, or any other relevant platform. Then there's step three, the post-launch. Sales generally die down after the first few days of the launch. There are ways to reignite them, however. And for example, you can announce an added bonus or you can hold a special webinar or a live event which the buyers of the product get free tickets to. Now here's a question you're going to need to consider. When you close out the launch, what will you do with the product? Will you continue to sell it from your site? but at a different price point? Or will you take it off the market for six months and then do a second launch? If you take the product off the market, make sure you put up a special web page thanking visitors for their interest in the product and suggesting they opt in so to a web form so they can be among the first people notified when the product becomes available again. With this strategy, you'll have the opportunity to earn their trust before your next big launch. That, my friends, is how you book yourself solid. Well, that's all for today. I'm Ann Shivani. Join me for our next segment, Perfect Pricing and Simple Selling, and we'll see you then.